Welcome back. Americans are back to buying real estate once again. Existing home sales in 2016 were the best in 10 years, according to the most recent report from the National Association of Realtors. Joining us now to break down the trend is Billy Macklow. He's founder and CEO of the William Macklow Company. And Billy, it's good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Give right us here. your assessment of what's going on in the market right now. Well, I think people feel a little better now that the election is behind us. And uh, you've seen that. I think sales have picked up both on a national basis and, and New York. I think in Manhattan there's been a talk about a lot of an overabundance of supply. We're starting to see some of that supply take down. As a matter of fact, if you look at the 2016 statistics, I think in the luxury market uh, sales over 5 million were probably up 33 percent as opposed to historical norms. So I think people are, are starting to come alive again. So in terms of the um, residential versus commercial, where's the supply? Is it, is, is it the supply is on residential, you're saying? There's supply on residential, but there's also an interesting dynamic in the commercial markets where you're starting starting to see a gravitation towards new construction. And that new construction, we have yet to see the space that's committed to new buildings. As an example, Hudson Yards has taken a lot of tenancy out of the Midtown core. We have yet to see the Midtown core have those upcoming vacancies be backfilled. So I think it's a space and it's a sector to watch for sure. Yeah, that's important. Uh, first time home buyers, I guess, played a big role in real estate trends, making up 35% of all residential buyers in 2016. Do you think first time home buyers, is that one of the more vibrant parts of, of what we're seeing right now? Uh, I think that's part of it. I also think you know, people in New York could be getting out of the rental market which would lead to the first time home buyer uh, sentiment and statistics that you're quoting. We're starting to see softness in the residential market. There's been an overabundance of supply on rental housing. And it's not just in Manhattan. You see tremendous contributions to supply both in Brooklyn and in Long Island City. And that puts you know, negative pricing pressure on rental achievement across the board. I I know you're working on a big project right now. I want to ask you about that. But sure. first, let me ask you this. The Federal Reserve, obviously, we heard from Janet Yellen this week. What kind of homes are people buying right now? And does that change with rising interest rates, which we're expecting this year? I definitely think that the impending rate rises drove a lot of traffic towards the end of the year and the beginning of this year. Because on the average home buyer, I would say that's more of a mortgage-driven end user. You know, New York, over $5 million, it, it, they're kind of less sensitive to the mortgage markets. It's a more of a cash buyer. If you're talking about my project, we're, we, we do not have mortgage contingencies, and we're seeing primarily uh, cash buyers. Now, your new project, this is a new residential building in Greenwich Village, uh, 21 East 12th Street. Tell us about it. Well, we're very excited about it. Uh, it took us a long time to put the deal together, and it's a classic Greenwich Village location. You know, we're very attracted to the site because it, New York is... Resi uh, excuse me, Greenwich Village, rather, is sort of the most supply-constrained residential submarket in the city. Uh, there's always demand for that product, and we're seeing that in our sales. We opened our sales office mid-June. We're just under 50% sold. We've been selling top-down, and uh, most of our units have been bought by New Yorkers to live there. So it's really a New York building and a New York story. Well, I'm glad you brought this up because New Yorkers are buying increasingly now. But what about the foreign ownership? A couple of years ago, when we were in this boom time, we saw the Russians, the Chinese, everybody coming to New York, wanting to live in New York. How would you characterize that today? I think it's still happening. I think it depends on, on, on the product for sure. Uh, certainly, I think the midpoint to last year, we started to see a little pullback from Russia, China, and, and the issues in the South American currency situation and those buyers. Chinese buyers still has come back. We're actually, we've had a couple of Chinese buyer sales in, in our building. So I think they're coming back. There's some a little bit of a political wait and see. Yeah, sure. Well, we, we understand that with the issues of the day, but, but, but what about the prices? I mean, people were saying that things are getting to look a little like 2007 again in terms of some of the ways people are paying for real estate and just the, you know, the euphoria around real estate. Uh, have prices gotten ahead of themselves? I know they've come in just recently, right? I think prices have come in. You've seen land prices come down. Land prices have come down uh, probably about 20% from where we were at peak pricing about a year, year and a half ago. We're still above 2008 pricing on land. Problem with land is construction costs have continued to rise. And that, that's a big problem. So that sort of helps keep apartment pricing expectations at a high level. So it's, it's tricky. Um, but investment sales also seem to keep setting new records every day. And real estate obviously does well in a better economy. Are you bullish on things in terms of the broad economic backdrop? Do you think things get better? Uh, I, I think there's a possibility for things to get better. I think it's hard for baseline real estate fundamentals to get better. We still see there's a, a, a fair amount of commercial supply in Manhattan. 
a lot of concessions. Concessions are on the rise. With the repeal of Dodd-Frank, though, you really could see a, a, a shot in the arm to the leasing markets. Yeah, particularly from the financial services companies. Absolutely. Billy, good to see you. Very good to see you. Thank, Thank you so you. much for joining us. Billy Macklow there. Comment